We have a disturbing story out of New York City. A woman was attacked at gunpoint at the Port Authority bus terminal by a man she met on the online dating site eHarmony. Graham Cates has the latest information from the New York Police Department. Hey, Graham. So what happened here? Uh, right now, what police know is that this woman says that she, uh, on Monday afternoon, met up with a man. She said she met him on eHarmony. They arranged for her to come into the city. She lives somewhere else. Uh, and they met inside the Port Authority's really busy place. There's thousands of people who are traveling in and out of there, so there's a lot of surveillance. She says that when she got there, uh, the man told her that he had a gun and told her that she needed to go into the basement area of the Port Authority. That's where the subway system is, where there's a lot less surveillance. And she, it's not exactly clear where, where this attack um, happened. The police say, you know, she's not really clear of this, that the tunnels beneath are a labyrinthine. Um, they believe, though, in a dark uh, kind of deserted subway tunnel, she was attacked and potentially raped. She, weighed her, um, she made her way back up to the street and found a firefighter who contacted police for her, um, and she was treated at a hospital. Wow. We, we've all heard of eHarmony. It's one of the uh, largest, most popular online dating sites um, in the country. Is eHarmony weighing in at all on this at this point? Uh, I've reached out to them and they haven't gotten back to me. The police say that they've reached out to them also for information because, of course, if this person registered, they're not sure if he used his real name or not, um, but there's, there's potentially information that could lead them to, to this person using eHarmony's information. Uh, the other question that I think a lot of people will have, Graham, is how does something like this happen in the Port Authority here in New York City, which is extremely crowded. It is full not only of New York police officers, but also the United States Army is patrolling. The National Guard is in there patrolling. How does someone get away with doing something like this? Right, there's so much surveillance there. Uh, it's because it's kind of considered like a terror target. Uh, what, what police are saying is that she says he, he indicated to her that he had a gun and said, you know, follow my directions. You're going to go downstairs. Mm -hmm. It's not clear whether he knew exactly where he was going or whether, I mean, if you're downstairs in the Port Authority, once you're not really in the, the bus terminal, but in the subway yeah, section, there, yeah. it's, it's complicated. There's a lot of different trains that meet up there. There are a lot of different passageways and things can suddenly go from where you're surrounded by the, by the army, by the police, to where there aren't that many people. Which a lot of people probably don't know. And, you know, when, when people meet people online, they think they're being safe by meeting in a public, crowded place. That's the whole point. Right, right? Yeah. like right. the Port Authority. So it's pretty scary. It's, it's really frightening allegations. And right now they don't have a suspect yet either. Wow. Well, but, but that is interesting because they met on eHarmony. E There's got to be some kind of electronic trail. Right, so the pro that's, that's what they're hoping to get. They're, they subpoenaed, we believe, um, information from eHarmony. But again, if the guy registered using fake a fake name, name yeah. then it right. gets a little more complicated. Not that he can't be tracked down. There's sure. IP information and all sorts right. of other stuff, but it's just not clear yet. And on her end, hopefully, she has pictures of him, et cetera. Et cetera, yeah. At least. All right, disturbing.